In this video, I will demonstrate how to numerically solve a differential equation using Microsoft Excel. First, some preliminaries. Our initial value problem is usually expressed as follows in the so-called normal form, where dy dt is solved and it's equal to f of ty. f is sometimes called the slope function. Along with that, we give an initial condition. To numerically solve this equation, we break the t-axis up into a grid of points with a separation delta t. And so notice the next t-value is equal to the previous t-value plus the separation. The corresponding y-values are approximated as follows. For example, y of 1 is y of 0 plus the slope, which is calculated at t0, y0 times delta t. Thus, our numerical solution is generated by iterating these two functions right here. This procedure is referred to as Euler's method. The specific problem that we'll be solving is the simple first-order linear differential equation dy dt plus y is equal to t with initial condition y of 0 is 0 0.5. Now first we solve for dy dt to determine the slope function which is f of ty is equal to t minus y. Now let's go to Microsoft Excel and see how to solve this. Okay, Euler's method to solve y prime plus y is equal to t. I begin by assigning the delta t value to a specific cell. So delta t is equal to, and we're going to choose 0 0.1 for initial delta t value. Next, we're going to need three columns of data, which I'll label the first column n, which will be our iteration number, t, time values, and y, the y values. So n will start with 0, time value start at 0, and y, our initial conditions, is y is going to be 0 0.5. Now, the formula for the next t value is given here as a reminder. So t of n plus 1 is equal to previous t value plus delta t. So to insert that in this cell, we select the cell and press equal to enter a formula. Now I press the cell above it, which is t sub n, the previous value of t, plus delta t. But delta t, I press up here, this cell, and it gives me delta t. Now the reference that we're making there is called a constant reference, so we will have to put the dollar signs before the cell labels. And we have it. Next, we select y sub 1, the cell where we will store y1 in, and again hit equal and insert the formula. Over here, we're reminded that the formula for y sub 1 is y0 plus the slope which for this problem is t minus y times delta t. So I simply select a cell above, which is the previous y value, plus open parentheses, now the formula for the slope, which is t, previous value of t, minus previous value of y, close parentheses, times our delta t value. And again, insert those dollar signs before your delta t value. Okay, so now let's fill down the columns. For our iteration number, we're going to solve the equation on the time interval 0 to 1.2, which with a separation of 0.1 means that we will do 12 iterations. So I'll pull n down 
to 12. Right there. Now we want to compute the T and Y values. We do this by selecting T and Y and when we see the fill down simply double click on that and it will fill the formula down. It will iterate our functions. There they are. So to graph our results we will select the column for T and Y like this and choose chart choose scatter and there's our result. Now I'd like to do some editing on this chart and there's two ways you can edit the various features on the chart. One is by right-clicking on the feature and a menu will come up or if I select a chart here we notice up here there's a chart layout selection and selecting that and coming over here we can select what feature we want to edit. I'm going to begin by editing the series which corresponds to our data points. And the first feature of those series I like to edit is the marker style and I want to choose a bubble with a point size of 4. Now in addition to that, I want to continue to edit the series and install a line between the markers. So I'll come here and choose line. And I want it to be 1.5 points in thickness. There we go. Okay. Next I'd like to fix the horizontal and vertical scale values. We'll come back here and choose horizontal value axis, format selection, and it's the scale that we want to adjust. And I'd like the minimum scale to go from 0, maximum 1.2, and make that fixed. That's our horizontal scale. Coming over here and doing our vertical values and adjusting that scale, we want to go from 0.3 to 0.65 is OK. And we don't want it to be automatic. We want it to be fixed values, as you'll see why in a moment. So there's a plot of our numerical solution for this differential equation. Next we'd like to plot the exact solution and compare them. But before we do that, notice we can go over to the cell storing the delta t value and choose a different delta t of perhaps 0.2 and notice how it dynamically updates all results. More on that in a moment. The exact solution for the differential equation is y of t is equal to negative 1 plus t plus 1.5 e to the minus t. Let's plot this solution in Excel. Okay, to plot the exact solution we're going to take a column and label it y exact and we click the cell below and we're going to enter the formula for the exact solution which is minus 1 plus t, so you select t, plus 1.5 times exponent negative, again for t you select the cell where you see t, close parentheses, enter. Now we simply Select that cell, right click the, double click the fill down button, and there we have the exact solution shown in that column. To plot it, we select 
the values and we right click it and say copy. And we go up here to with the plot selected, we go up here to edit and say paste. And there's our exact solution. I'd like to edit this. This time I'm going to right click on the exact solution and choose format data series. For the marker style, this time we're going to choose no marker. For line, we will choose smooth line and again give it a size of 1.5 points. So here we now can see the exact solution compared to our approximate solution. Finally, I'd like to demonstrate how our solution changes with different delta t values. And to accomplish this, I'm going to introduce a scroll bar into the notebook. This is done by selecting the Developer tab above and selecting Scroll Bar, pulling it down, creating a scroll bar like so. Right click inside the scroll bar and choose Format Control. And we're going to choose a minimum value of 10, maximum value of 50. The cell link, where we want the value to be inserted, we click cell link and I will choose the cell right above my delta T value. And OK. So now notice what this has accomplished. By manipulating the scroll bar, notice to the left that cell value changing from 10 to 50. Now I will select the cell where delta T is stored and insert a formula there. It's going to be the output from the scroll bar divided by 100. Okay. Now adjusting the scroll bar gives me different delta T values ranging from 0.1 up to 0.5. So again notice how as we adjust delta T the plot is accordingly changing showing the solution for different delta T values. So of course as delta T gets smaller our solution improves. So to conclude, I'd like to mention that Euler's method is a bit slow and inefficient for practical use, but it is a stepping stone to understanding more sophisticated algorithms. So until next time, goodbye.